class. Welcome back. I'm Dr. April Strom, and in this particular video, we are going to explore another example of U substitution. But in this particular example, I have a trig function that's gonna come um, up for us to deal with. But like in the last video, here we're gonna use U substitution where we have to choose an appropriate U that will make our integration life much easier, hopefully, okay? All right, so really the trick to all these problems is getting the right U. And I'll just say as a little caveat here, you might from time to time pick a U and maybe it doesn't work for you and then you have to go back to the drawing board and pick yet another U and that's okay. That's part of the learning process here. So I'm gonna start with here and I notice I see two functions that I'm multiplying. Um, I have 4x cubed itself considered one function, and that's being multiplied by this whole cosine of x to the fourth. Don't fall in the booby trap of thinking like an x to the fourth is being multiplied by a cosine. Not the case. x to the fourth in this particular instance is the argument, the input into the cosine function. So we have two separate functions here, nothing more than. But certainly we have a composition of functions. Right here, we have a composition of functions where x to the fourth as a function has now been put inside as an argument into the cosine function. And if I look very closely, if I think about, well, if x to the fourth is the inside function, its derivative is 4x cubed. Okay, so that's really advantageous for us to kind of recognize that from the beginning. So. As a result, if I recognize that, then that will help me figure out what I would like to use as the um, defining thing for a U. So here, the inside function being x to the fourth, let's let that be our U. U equals x to the fourth. And often, like I mentioned, the inside function will be the U. Not always 100%, but often it will. So let's go ahead and find that derivative. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna, this time I'm just gonna write it this way. I'm gonna have the derivative of u, so du is equal to the derivative here using the power rule. Hey, look, 4x cubed, I'm not done yet because remember I was taking the derivative with respect to x, and in my last video we had over here divide by dx to remind us that in fact we were looking at small changes in that x. So we were taking the derivative with respect to x is what we say. Well, we already know we're gonna move it over here anyway, so let's just do that now. So we don't have to do that step every single time. We know this is gonna be the exchange that I have here. I know I have a dx over here. I know I'm gonna have stuff with dx here that I'm gonna to need to exchange out. I also recognize I've got a 4x cubed here, but I have a 4x cubed over here. That's great news because if I take this piece right here and this piece over here, those right away as a unit together can get exchanged out for a du, just a plain du. And then here I have a cosine of, well, instead of x to the fourth, let's call it u. So we're gonna rewrite our problem with those pieces in. So I have now that this is going to be equal to the integral of, well, I know the four x cubed, the dx, that will now be a du. So let's just put that at the end, we typically do. And in front of that, the integrand function itself will simply be this cosine instead of x to the fourth again, that is a u. So again, the whole point of u substitution is to kind of remove the heavy lift of trying to integrate something that started like this here in the beginning, which was a product and more specifically a composition of functions. So that now we look here and we say, oh, we can handle the integral of cosine u, that's no problem. So let's figure out what that is. Remember, if you think about, oh, what's the antiderivative of cosine u? Sine u. So when I integrate cosine u with respect to u, so times the du here, I literally just get sine of u. Because I didn't have any boundaries here on my integral symbol, I have to again add my c for a constant to account for that. And remember, we cannot leave our answer in terms of u's. That was a temporary fix. So what we now do is we go back up and we say, oh, u was x to the fourth. Let's put that back in here to report my final answer to be sine of x to the fourth plus c. And now we're ready to box and move on. And maybe even before you move on, 
By the way, you could check your answer here. All you would have to do is say, let me actually take the derivative of this particular function right here and make sure I get 4x cubed cosine of x to the fourth. And by golly, when you do, you get 4x cubed cosine x to the fourth. So that could be a way to check to make sure that you did your work okay. All right, I hope you enjoyed this particular video. In the next video, we'll look at yet another example of U substitution. And please click on the Advantage logo to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.